Hello people, um, I recently made an animated cat on Crypto, crypto Books Hole. It's actually not that hard, um, so I'll teach you how to do it. So first off, you want to go on the um, Ftracy website. You want the latest version, but for this, I recommend you use the previous version. I was able, it will make you save a lot more time. So you go on the website, on the GitHub, and then to 0.98.2, sorry, go into assets and you download the one you want. Cool, so I already have it installed, so I can just go into folder and run it. You'll notice that the interface looks a bit different than the, the old, uh, the newest one, so but we'll manage, we'll have to deal with that. So I set up my workplace, hop, there you go, and you delete everything. Awesome, so now you can make the model you want uh, in that Magica voxel. Uh, I already made a little snake here. And once you've made your model, you just click on that little arrow up here and you've got a keyframe here. So what you do is you just click on that little plus here and you'll copy that keyframe and you've got your model on the second keyframe. So now what you have to do is start making your animation. So for example, I will get the head, make sure you select everything, perfect, and I'll make the head move on the side, up, and then next keyframe, now it's this block that moves to the side, up, next keyframe, All right, so here's my snake. Um, it doesn't look like what I used to because it turns out that I'm really, really bad with animations. So I decided to make a really lame one, which is just this. It's pretty bad, isn't it? It looks like the snake has spasm. It's just about to die, we don't know it yet. Cool, uh, so I've got my animations here. I've got four keyframes only. And what you want to do when you've made your model and your animation is you go export, then you go vox, you create a folder, I've created snake. So here it's called untitled3, which I'm going to rename snake3, oh, there you go. Then you go to keyframe0, vox, untitled4, it doesn't matter anymore, then 1, save and then two save awesome so now you can save your model if you want save as you go there box anim you know, I'm gonna name this as snake awesome so I can close this that's our script file but we're not gonna script yet you go to Dropbox create folder, never mind, we'll just go into our, our folder, Windows Explorer, where all saved boxes are. Uh, just for the sake of con um, consistency, I'm going to re retitle this to untitled. Alright, that's all four keyframes, and I'm just going to copy and paste this here. Should be coming around snake there you go awesome so we've got we've uploaded all files create link copy right now you want to create a link for all of those so if you're exporting this onto discord it'll be easier because you don't have to create a link for all of them discord already creates a link for your files so you can just do that Sweet, so we've got our four keyframes um, uploaded. So now you understand that if you have more than like 30 keyframes, it will be pain in the ass to um, create a link for all of them. Sweet, so we'll start with this one. So we'll keyframe zero. And let's start scripting. So first off, uh, if you've seen my presentation video, uh, the, the one about images, how to switch from one image to another, this will seem pretty easy. Uh, but if you haven't, then uh, you'll discover it. So let um, u, which stands for URL, equal to a list. 
one, two, three, four, each one of those for each of my keyframes. And then you just paste the link in there. Share, copy the link. Second one, this one, copy the link. Put it there. And then fourth one, copy the link. Put it there. Right, so I've got my list of URLs here. Now what I want to do is iterate through those. So let key equal one, two, three, four. I have whole four keyframes here. I'm just going to put four here then. Uh, and then what we want to do is we want to tell the feature to change through all these keyframes. What right? at the beginning when it's loading, we want it to go. Oh, so let's go with that one and that one and then that one and then that one. So how do we do that? We just go set interval. Open and then you want to put an inner function in there. Up. So this means oh this is gonna be a function and that function is gonna do what? It's gonna be it's gonna do what's inside those curly brackets. Sweet, so inside those curly brackets we go feature dot set curly brackets URL equal and then here we wanna get uh, what's inside here. So let's put k equal four uh, equals zero. And then here we go, URL is equal to U, K. Right, so now it's going to grab within that list, it's going to grab number K, uh, the index K, the item at index K, I should say. Sorry about that. So in this case, K is equal to zero, so it's going to grab the first URL, but now we want to change every X seconds. So once you've changed the URL, we we'll just go K plus plus for and that means it's going to be k plus 1 and then k plus 1 plus 1. Um, if you leave it like this, um, we should probably add some seconds here. So let's go 200 milliseconds. Um, actually, let's go 5,000 5, seconds and you will know why. You'll understand why later. Later, I should learn how to speak properly. All right, so if you leave it like this, k will just exponentially maybe not exponentially but linearly go toward infinity and you will not it will um, give you an error so what you want to do is you want to set k back to zero so you go if k equal greater or equal to four get four then k is equal to zero and that's pretty much your code. So now you just copy and paste this onto your snake in the world and, um, and it will work fine. So let's try that. All right, crypto voxels. It's taking a bit of a while. Account, so let's go on to prime square, prime passage. Oh, you know what, let's go on the new parcel. This one, four comma square. Sweet. Right, so I'm going to put a Vox model here. Uh, I'm going to set the default URL as this one here. Oh. Is it right there? Yep, here's a snake. I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to go into the U HTML UI. HTML UI. I can't type today. And I'm going to isolate myself to make it easier to script. Sweet, so I isolated myself. Here's my snake. I click on it. I want to make it bigger. It's important that you make it bigger before putting the script because you won't be able to edit your um, Vox model uh, once you put the script on. Right, so here's the snake. I'm going to move it. Sweet. Uh, and now you copy the script on it. So let's take that, put it there, up, and put the script there, and refresh. Let's press F12 to see if there's a problem with it. Cool, did it save the script at least? Ah, oh, there you go, it just takes five seconds. I forgot about that. All right. So as you can see, the URL um, is not loading. 
it's not um, appearing on the screen and it's because the CDN so the server of CryptoBookSell if you want is trying to load the, the CDN right it's trying to understand what's going on and and um, load the, the, the URL um, so that's why I've put five seconds it's to give it a bit of time so that during those five seconds before putting the, the next URL um, the CDN can load each URL so in this case um, it's not quite working so I should have put 10 seconds instead maybe let's try that 10 seconds cool uh, where's my more there you go. Cool, let's delete that and refresh. Awesome, let's put a box model here. URL is going to be this one. Copy. Oh. URL. Oh. Hey. oh, this is new. Hyperlink. Wow, I just um, I logged in right when a new feature came in. I guess I'll talk about this later, but that's pretty cool. Sweet. So let's edit scale 1.5, 1.5, and 1.5. Awesome. Now let's copy our script. Put it there. And go. Refresh it. Let's see if it worked. So the script is loading. After 10 seconds, it's going to change what it looked like. 10 seconds is a bit longer. Eh? Mm. There you go. So it changed what it looked like and it loaded pro um, properly. So now we can see what it looks like on the second frame. Now that's the third frame. Now let's wait for the fourth frame. Oh my god, this they look no different. I really need to work on my animations. Awesome, and back to the first frame. There we go. Cool, so now that it works, now that the CDN has loaded, it will be faster the second time. So I will go to 200 milliseconds. And I will delete this because you cannot edit a Vox model that is that has a script running or at least a set interval. And there you go. Oh, I can't zoom in, can I? Alright, so I should have made bigger. But as you can see, it's running the script. So let's try that here. Oh, make it 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. The script on there. Refresh. There you go. So here we go. You've got a running animation going on and a snake that's alive. So now it's pretty much on you to make it um, better than this because obviously this is pretty lame, like I'm pretty ashamed of this. Please don't tell my parents. Um, but yeah, now it's your turn. Have fun.